Hello and welcome to Yadokari Nation. My name is Caroline and today I'm going to talk to you about how to properly handle your hermit crabs. The only real danger your hermit crab can come by when you're handling him is if you drop him. So a good place to play with him is on the floor. Can't drop a hermit crab if you're playing with him on the floor. This is my hermit crab Jean Valjean and I'll show you how you pick him up. You pick him up and you put him on your hand. That's it. Now, a lot of people will tell you to hold your hand out flat so that they don't pinch you. But actually, they're very unlikely to pinch you for reasons we'll talk about shortly. I actually developed a technique for my hermit crabs that I call the tilt. If you tilt their shell gently forward and back, they'll likely come out onto your hand, and then they'll be active. A lot of people think hermit crabs pinch when they're frightened because they're trying to attack you or maybe that they're being mean. But in actuality, that doesn't seem to be the case. When hermit crabs are frightened, they tend to recede into their shell, not pinch. So, for example, he receded into his shell and he was frightened by my hand. He didn't jump out and try to pinch me. Similarly, if you're holding a hermit crab, he's not likely to pinch you from fear. There are other reasons that hermit crabs pinch. Hermit crabs tend to pinch for one of two reasons. The first reason is that they're very, very hungry and they're trying to eat your flesh. I have had hermit crabs actually tear off my cuticles and eat them. It's painful and it's really gross. You want to make sure to feed your hermit crabs properly. If they're on a good diet, they're not going to try to eat you and thus not going to try to pinch you when you hold them. This is my hermit crab Brock Samson and he's going to help us understand the second reason why hermit crabs pinch. The second reason hermit crabs pinch is because they feel like they're falling, but they can't use their legs to hold on, so they resort to using their claws. You'll notice when hermit crabs climb that they actually primarily use their legs. They don't grab on with their claws that often. They will use their claws, however, if they don't have good strong legs or if they have broken tips or something like that that will prevent them from using their legs to climb. Brock Sampson just came up from a molt. You can see he has very long black tips on the end of his legs. It's the longest black tips I've ever seen. Brock Sampson loves to climb. So I'll show you what I mean when I say he won't use his claws. Here's Brock Sampson. Brock Sampson loves to climb. I'm going to let him get a good grip on my hand and then show you how he can climb without using his claws. Come on, baby. Ready? Are you ready? Okay. Huh? Notice how Brock Sampson is only using his legs to hold on to my hand. Because he molts a lot, I've actually had Brock Sampson the longest of all my crabs. He has very strong legs and very long tips. He doesn't need to use his claws to hold on at all. You see, he's not biting me or anything like that. As long as hermit crabs have their limbs and their legs to hold on, they don't need to pinch to hold on. This is my jumbo hermit crab, Dante. You see how big Dante is in comparison to my hand? You handle him in the exact same way. Pick him up. Ta-da! Dante has only ever pinched me once in the entire time I've had him, which is almost two years now. And that was after he came up for a molt. Now, as you know, when hermit crabs come up for a molt, they're very hungry. I was really excited to see Dante up from his molt because he takes two months to molt. So he came up from his molt, I saw him, I ran over and picked him up, and he pinched me very hard because he was trying to eat me. The only real difference between handling a hermit crab as an adult versus as a child is that children should always be supervised by adults, and children should be told to always use two hands. That's pretty much because hermit, their hands are smaller, and the hermit crabs can run off with their hands faster. Hermit crabs should still be played with on the floor. 
You can wash your hands before and after you play with your hermit crabs if you want to. If you wash your hands before you play with your hermit crabs, you should just rinse them with clean water. Adding soap to your hands isn't going to help the matter. But hermit crabs actually can't transmit, transmit any diseases to humans. There are no known diseases that come from hermit crabs to humans. So you don't really have to wash your hands afterwards. Of course you can, and that's uh, up to your preference. Adults and children should be aware that hermit crabs can pinch at any time. They're not likely to, and I and all my time doing this crabbing stuff have barely been pinched at all. If you are pinched, what you have to do is take your hand that has the crab on it and lay it flat on the ground, really still, and just wait. The crab may pinch harder or softer, but you can't pull it off. If you try to pull the crab off, it's just going to pinch harder, and you're not going to get it off. You've got to just kind of wait and grin and bear it. Now, I know that's hard for children. I've seen children get bit by hermit crabs before. Another way to get a hermit crab off is to pour water on the crab, like from one of your dechlorinated bottles. And usually water makes hermit crabs either move or release or loosen, and then you can get the crab off. So you could try that if it's a real bad case. But ultimately, you have to wait for the crab to loosen its grip. So you might be there for a while. And that's pretty much all you need to know about handling hermit crabs. If your hermit crabs are well fed, and they don't feel like they're going to fall for whatever reason, they're not likely to pinch you. If they do pinch you, you can just put your hand down, hold it very still, and wait for them to release, or run some cold water over them and see if that'll loosen them. But again, don't pull them off. They have to loosen by themselves. Other than that, play with hermit crabs on the floor. For children, use two hands. And enjoy. Thank you for joining us here at Yadokari Nation. My name is Caroline. Good luck with your hermit crabs.